What's up guys, and welcome back to my Dark Souls 2 item randomizer run. So, it's a dragon slaying time, meaning the ancient dragon, of course. But first, let's level up with the souls I got from, the, from Dark Lurker. And then, yeah, uh, I did get a nice hint that, yeah, uh, with the Grandal, the item that he refused to give me, there might have been like a fifth item, but maybe my inventory was full or something. I think I'll try again, you know, talking to him, but before that I'll empty like all of my inventory, you know, just to make sure that I don't have any items at their limit before doing that. But first, uh, just in case it works, and just in case it will be a weapon, I want to try out the Ancient Dragon with this plus 10 scythe before I do that. But let's see... Uh... I have no idea what I'm doing. I think two, two more strength is good, yeah. So, Ancient Dragon. Next, I guess I should use the rest of the souls that I had for life gems. Fourteen of them. Yeah, uh, as I have mentioned before, I have not... Let's see. Ah, yeah, I was just looking at the, the far, far fire in the menu, but of course it's the My Majula bonfire. But yeah, as I have mentioned before, I have not defeated or really seriously even fought against the Ancient Dragon ever, so this will probably be interesting and I won't promise that I will end up finishing the fight on this, uh, this session. But hey, I'll at least check it out. How it goes, if I'll even make it there. Yeah, that wasn't the greatest start there, and it kind of hurts my healing item situation. Though, if I'm gonna use like 50 life gems in one battle, I'm probably not gonna, you know, win the battle anyway, so... I guess that's not as serious. Let's see if I could get this door open. Okay, yeah. Whoop. And, of course, with the upgraded weapon, it probably would be smart and fair to actually try to kill these guys, but... I'll do that if I won't beat the <laughs> Ancient Dragon on my first try. Which I very, very highly doubt. But, as we noticed while I was getting the Ashen Mist Heart from here, it is actually pretty easy to just run past these guys. Oh god, no, 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 no! <laughs> What did I just say? <laughs> and you guys should stop at uh, this tile here. Yeah, it seems you're not following. Okay. Just... Nah, I guess they'll die if they hang around for long enough. Uh, you say nothing more, okay. So yeah, as I said, I have no idea what I'm doing, so let's just bash on him. Some more. Uh, okay, yeah, now the fight starts. I would imagine perhaps the hind legs might be a good place to hang around. Well, that's not too shabby, I guess. Okay, fire breath. Ah, okay. That seems to have a kind of a long range, so... Hmm. Okay, yeah, the fire breath is kind of a problem, it seem. I guess I'll do that again and see where it takes me. I just remembered that I just said that if I didn't beat the dragon on my first try, then I would actually try to kill these guys, and I just realized that, yeah, there's a fog wall there now, so... hmm. 
Okay, yeah, that was just bad playing from me, but okay, I guess I might have to kill these guys. Well, okay, not necessarily, but it would make it easier to actually access the boss fight. But okay, since the situation is this, I'll... I guess I'll just take it slow and try to kill all the enemies on my way. Well, maybe not the big guy with the maze, because they're infinite, infinite stamina bullshit, but you know, the rest... Whoop, at least try. And what do you know, the first enemy dropped something. Seal's <laughs> armor. Okay. I have a feeling this will end badly for me. So let's see, I think I aggroed both of you when I aggroed one of you, so let's try to deal with you quick. Okay, I'm guessing durability will be an issue here, but at least I beat the enemies kind of fast. But yeah, this maze guy I was talking about, have never really been a fan of him. Down goes the maze guy, apparently not dropping anything. Will you guys fight me? Ah, uh, maybe you will? Mannequin top. Well, that's welcome. Okay, so at least Sion or Sion's armors and mannequin tops. Uh, though I suppose that was a different enemy with the, you know, two-handed sword and not the small one. Uh, let's see. Okay, still four defense and equip load, but not too bad. Uh, I guess I, I'll fight these two next. That was kind of an unfortunate angling of myself, but hey, uh, as I suspected, the guys really, really aren't <laughs> as impossible or unfair seeming that they first seemed when I just ran past them all. <laughs> well, crap. Falconer Helm. Okay, another confirmed drop, I guess. Still not quite under 30%, but getting there, I suppose. Okay, one of the Dragon Warriors dropped something too. 
hidden weapon. A sorcery it is. At least I'm pretty sure it is. That it is. And one that I can, well, could cast with my old stats, but so was the strong magic weapon too, so... Uh, neither of those really do me any good if my weapon is a, you know, a casting tool. Fuck. Oh, I even left a chest there. How the hell did I get to there again? I mean, I guess I can just jump from here? But yeah, I was taking the uh, different route just to, you know, pass the maze guy. And yeah, the durability is really, really, really a problem. Problem for me here, so fuck. I might want to just... Okay, poison moss and bolts, so... Might want to just run past the guys every time. I mean, I suppose if I kill them again and again and again, then they will stop respawning eventually, but... Holy fuck, it's gonna take a long time. So let's see how this one goes. Do I fight you in like pairs or something? At least I hope you won't all aggro on me if I attack one of you. Or will I fight the guy on top? Tell me guys. Because right now I'm afraid that you all just jump me at once. Okay, so I guess I'm fighting at least this guy. I think it would be nice if I beat you, then I'd like get a permanent pass to, well, pass all of you. Okay, that guy goes down and apparently I get nothing. Though hopefully he won't respawn or something like that, but nah, I'm really not too hopeful at this point. Also, I would have enough salt to just level up if I so wanted, and my durability is <laughs> once again gone. So, I'm not really sure what's smartest here right now. Let's at least see how far I'll have to go until they attack me. Okay then. I guess you will attack me. But how about this guy? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Hello, guys. Like, what the hell, man? Okay. Uh, this can't go too well. Hmm. Well, at least I can try to study his moves or something. Okay, yeah, that's the flying thing, and I'm way too close to the edge here, and yeah, no way I'm gonna survive this, or I will, okay. But yeah, I think I'll just take these souls that I have right now. Ah, yeah, the dragon is kind of 
passive, I mean, it gives a lot of openings, but how the fuck am I supposed to avoid that flame? Though I suppose I don't have to avoid it if I just block it. I mean, the explosive hollows whatever at the Dragon Airy drop Havel's Great Shield. Though that would again kinda at least require me to respect. But I'll keep that option in mind if I have to. But let's get some kind of a level up. Yeah, one more strength is good. And I suppose with the rest I should go buy more repair powders. It seriously seems the guys don't attack me anymore. What the hell? I mean, not complaining, of course, but okay. I was just prepared to run past them, but could it really be that I only have to, like, clear the area once by killing the power stancing guy? And after that, the dudes are just peaceful, unless I attack them, I assume. Because if that's the case, then this will be a hell of a hell of a lot easier. I mean, there's only three of those guys in my way, then. I mean, most definitely not complaining. Because earlier, I mean, unless they're glitched out or something, which I don't think is the case. They... they don't even bow to me anymore. Like, you know, as a sign of a duel. And yeah. Well then, this works fucking fantastic for me. Uh, considering the ancient dragon fight. Okay, so the area is even more fair now, in my opinion. So you only have to make your way up the stairs once and beat the big bad, so to speak. And then you have just have free pass, as I kind of was hoping. Every other turn, uh, try then. But okay, I still have the dragon issue. Dragon issue with which I have no idea what I should do with. I think there was one one too many with in that sentence. But... Okay, so I can avoid it. That's confirmed. But how do I do it consistently? Also, your tail was way too wiggly. I think if I run directly under him. And I suppose like staying near the tail might be good and coming to hit the behind the legs maybe. Let's see, I think this is the fire breath. Okay, yeah, I avoided it. I did not avoid the tail. <laughs> Okay, so if the fight continues like this, then this won't be all that difficult, but it will take a long time. At least I don't think the dragon has like a second phase or anything, at least I've never heard of one. Okay, now it will hit me. Or it won't, okay. Okay, so... Run at the tail, wait for him to come down, hit the hind leg once, and then move close to the tail again. Okay, that seems easy enough. <laughs> Though that can still happen.
Also, falling off probably isn't good for my health. Where the fuck did you go? Okay... I guess I got the mm, basic strategy down, if you can call it that, so now just gotta try again, again, and again. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I guess that's an attack too then. I did not expect <clears throat> a literal fire crutch. I got so careless there. <laughs> I didn't think the flame would push me off the edge. But hey, the fight is actually kind of a fucking pushover once you realize that, yeah, stay between its legs. Because, yeah, there's a shit ton of massive windows to actually hit it, and it's not that difficult to dodge. Well, not really dodge, more like run away from anything it throws at you, so. Okay, these should be very, very doable. close once again, but hey, at least I figured out that I can uh, hit its toes while it's breathing fire between its legs, so even more damaging opportunities.
And there we go, the ancient dragon goes down. Soul of a giant and a petrified dragon bone. Hey, that's fucking excellent. I finally got a Soul of a Giant because I really, really do want those before I take on a Vendrick, as I have said. But yeah, seriously, once you figure out the fight, it's nowhere near as, you know, unforgiving or unfair as I have read some people say. So, yeah, I... Well, I wouldn't really say I liked the fight all that much, but... Really wasn't as... As terrible as I expected it to be from what I had read somewhere sometime. But hey, Ancient Dragon did. So, well, first of all, over a hundred thousand souls, I should obviously go use them on some level ups, upgrade materials, and what have you. <laughs> I guess I could buy the. 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 ah. Uh, the Fragrant Brands of Yore from Melentia, because I'm pretty sure I still have some doors that I haven't opened, and yeah, I would like to get everywhere eventually. So I might just buy that. I did say that I wouldn't like, I wouldn't want to buy it unless I had to, but eh, just to save my time and nerves, I'll get it. But I still have almost uh, 110,000, so let's see here. Okay, I only have a two chunks left, so I guess I should take some of those. Uh, some of you. And I guess with the rest I could get, get some level up, so I guess that's, well, just two, but still two, can't complain. So what would be a good, a good target for them? Ah, more strength. That's always good. It'll at least open up more power stancing possibilities in the future. And with the rest, I guess just normal life gems once again. I'm sorry, Melinti, I did not mean to abandon you. There we go. Okay, so uh, I got the giant, uh, the soul of a giant, but yeah, it's only one of them. But it has already uh, split Vendrick's uh, Vendrick's HP by, I mean, uh, not HP, but defenses by half. So it's like better than nothing. But I'd really, really, really like to find more before I take him on. But you know, I don't really lose anything by fighting him. So. Yeah, I could actually go see him in in his memory, and yeah, after talking to him in his memory, I guess I could just trigger the fight and see how that goes. Probably not too well, but you know, at least I have tested it. And I guess I could also take in my inventory the... Uh, I think I have found two of the crowns. You know, just to see if he says anything. Uh, oh, I also have the King's Crown. Well, I guess I might as well take that too. Uh, Crown of the Sunken King. Well then, I guess that was the only one. I thought I got the Ivory King. Ivory King's Crown at some point, but I guess I might have just been thinking about the Vendrick's Crown. But anyway, I'll just run to Vendrick quick. God, the guy is so creepy down here. Well, let's enter the memory. I don't remember if he gives you anything, but I almost hope that he doesn't. Also, possibly a skipped frame there once again, but let's not dwell on that. Seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. I am Vendrick, ruler of Drang Lake. Seeker of fire, 
deliverer of crowns. What do you see in the flames? Find the crowns and your own answers. The crowns hold the strength of lords from times long past. Seek adversity. As befits you, seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. I am no king. I am more fit to be a jester. I was unaware of my own blindness. We are feeble vessels with feebler souls. We would cast aside the prop of life only to face greater hardship. Are you another such fool or something more? I fail to see your design, young moth. But I see very little these days. I fail to see your design, but... I'll just bend my rules just a bit here. Uh, I'll just put the crown on and talk to him, but uh, don't worry, I'll get back to what I had. Okay, yeah. Back. Nothing special there, so it could be that I... Well, it might not actually even be triggered by me having the crowns, it might be triggered by me killing the bosses that would give me the crowns, that he, uh, he might have something something uh, else for... Uh, uh, something else to say to me. But okay, so I guess that's all for now. <laughs> Well, then let's get out of here. The Ashen Mist Fade. What the fuck was that? That was kinda creepy. I'll get back to that memory. Actually, it might just need a re entry anyway. But, like, what the fuck was that thing in the corridor there? Well, let's talk to him again, just in case. Okay, yeah, nothing new there, but... Right. I saw something up the stairs. Ah, oh, Velstad, of course! Because he was kind of protecting him or something, looking over him. That makes sense. Okay, let's see how little, I was gonna say how much, but how little damage Vendrick takes with just one giant soul. I might actually take a couple of hits before the fight triggers once again. Or maybe he takes so little damage. Yeah, that's actually probably it. And yeah, the reason why I would like Vendrick dead is I checked the requirement to fight Aladia as the last boss. Well, yeah, I have done everything else that I have to, which is just talking to him, basically, at the bonfires where he appears. But I also need to defeat Vendrick before I beat Nashandra. So, thank fucking god, I actually <laughs> looked that up before I just killed, killed Nashandra, so I didn't lose out on the fight. I'm kinda getting a feeling here that my damage output is still so very, very little that the fight won't even start. Oh, okay, now it did. I did a whopping 12 damage, and yeah, I had been bashing on him, <laughs> bashing him for a while there, and there was like... <laughs> Oh, two centimeters off of his uh, HP bar, so okay, yeah, not uh, let's not uh, do that just yet. I'm gonna want more of those souls before I do that. Ah, uh, so then what? I mean, okay, let's see what I have left. Vendrick, for whom I need to find some more souls. Sunken King DLC in its entirety. Hmm... Well, Iron King 
all the boss fights basically and the Iron Passage. Uh, the Ivory King, the Frigid Outskirts I still haven't accessed and of course the... Yeah, the two boss fights left there too, so... But yeah, uh, I think all, all that I have left in the base game is Vendrick and, well, and Asandra and Aladia. So I guess something DLC related next. I Just to, you know, check my damage, I could take on Fume Knight, but I'm pretty sure I can't really beat him. Because of, you know, the uh, Nadalia statues healing him, healing him, so... Probably just wasting my time, but just to see if I do, I mean, how much damage I do with this weapon. Also, I could go face the Ivory King and hope that I just don't get any drops during the fight. I mean, of course, that can happen, but it's kind of sacrificing this weapon. But if the alternative is just going to the... Whoop, uh, going to the Sunken King DLC, then I'm not sure I care all that much which weapon I have there. If I manage to keep him like really, really close to this wall here, could I keep him from healing? Okay, so it actually does seem that you can beat the guy without getting rid of any of the Nadalias there, so that's fucking fantastic for me. I mean, I'm not sure I wanna do it, <laughs> but it's possible. Well, what the hell? I guess I could try at least a couple more tries. I mean, that was just the first try and I already got to the first. Um, first phase, uh, second phase, so let's try that again.
that old bag of fumes ain't got nothing on this guy. <laughs> oh, a single life gem and a single titanite chunk. But holy hell, fucking second attempt. What the fuck is happening in this episode? And yeah, <laughs> I guess I confirmed that. <laughs> ah, confirmed to myself that I can beat. <laughs> Fume Knight without taking care of the Nadalia statue, so what the fuck? Okay, I'm happy. What do we get? <laughs> oh, ah, repair sorcery. A faint heat lingers in the ancient crown. <laughs> what crown? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, yeah, I was really fucking sure that I would mess up in the later stages of the fight there, but hey, lucky for me, I did not. So, I guess leveling up at Machula again. And I guess I could also go check on Vendrick now. You know, just to see if, if he has anything new to say after beating Fume Knight and me kind of getting the... Uh, crown of the Iron King. I just realized that now that I have aggroed Vendrick, I'm not sure I can, you know, go into the memory to talk to him now, before I beat him. And, oh god, he's fast, what the fuck, oh god. Yeah, I'm not entering the memory right now. Well then, I guess I... Gotta find more of those giant souls. Okay. It was 26 damage instead of, what, 12 of a but I am not gonna do this fight like this. So yeah, I think I looked it up that it was uh, 32 times defense without any giant souls, so it's 16 times defense now, so I guess I will end up doing like almost 400 damage per hit, so that will probably be a lot more manageable than this. You know, of course, assuming that I can find... Uh, find a... Well, yeah, find all the souls. Because with how the randomizer works, I wouldn't be surprised if some random enemy dropped them. And yeah, you know, I could just far farm enough of them. I assume the defense wouldn't drop under, you know, the norm, the least amount that he can have, but what do I know? I guess we'll see what happens if it happens. But okay, uh, actually, while I'm still here, the Undead Crypt, once again risking losing my weapon, but then again, I'm not sure what I use it on right now, because holy fucking shit, I still can't believe I actually beat Fume Knight and the Ancient Dragon. This has been a good session. Uh, the illusory wall, I think, I left behind here somewhere. Maybe. Or maybe I... Okay, yeah, this is definitely something, but there might have been a Ferris contraption, contraption or something somewhere. Ah, uh, just to run around and see. Okay, yeah, let's use Luckstone here. So yeah, the breakable wall is here, and behind it we find a chest. A chest with uh, prisoner's gloves and alarm night helm. Well, nothing 
too great there. I'll just put those on once I respawn. Almost rhymed there once again. After that... I guess I... Oh wait, Grandal. I'll go talk to Grandal and check the inventory emptying thing first. But after that, actually, yeah, once again, uh, before I do anything, that equipment changing. Alan Knight Helm and Prison and Scornlets, and just making sure that no other stuff has been gotten. So yeah, uh, back to Grandal at the Drangley Castle. Under the Castle of Drangley, I'll empty basically everything from my inventory if I can, except the equipment that I'm, you know. Well, I have equipped right now. And see if I get anything from Grandal. So, I have deposited everything that I could into the item box. Let's see. Young undead, a deep, deep dark. The dark that we need, the abyss. I don't know why I want to listen to him. Your inventory bag is full. Okay. I guess I'm not getting the item with him. I mean, I still have like some great arrows and some rings and stuff like that. And of course the items that I have on. Wait a minute. You know what? I'll empty even more. Okay, your inventory bag is still full. Uh, so... Okay, yeah, I have no idea what he's trying to give me, but it could be, for example, Dark Sign or Black Separation Crystal or Bone of Order, which I couldn't even deposit in my item box. Or it's some other item that you can only have one of. And, you know, it also counts items in your item box, so... It just refuses to give it to me. But okay, at least I tried that, but I'll just get my equip- I mean my item items back to how they were and get to take a little peek at Shulova before I quit for this time. Once again, what I say and what I do don't actually relate all that much. While I still have the scythe, I guess I might as well try the Ivory King boss fight too, because I seem to be on a roll with my boss fights this time, so... Yeah, even if I happen to find something like the Black Witch's Star, which I can't actually use with my current equipment, uh, my current stats, I mean... Well, I'll just go to Shulaba and probably end up finding something there anyway, so it's not really all that big of a loss. That was not a good spin attack. Okay, so two items on the ground, and as per my rules, I do have to pick them up if I can, though I, I will of course try to stay alive before through doing so, so try the route, and... Three, think -da! Three Twinkling Titanites. So it's not confirmed that my equipment will change here, though of course that's not really news.
more Twinkling Titanites. Black Witch stuff. <laughs> I fucking knew it would come. Once again, I'll bend my rules. Just, you know, don't worry, I'm not gonna fight the, you know, boss itself with, you know, weapons with which I'm breaking the rules, but I thought I would at least try to activate the fight, so to speak. Well, if I can even make it that far. Though if this guy drops me a black knight, yeah, it doesn't, then it would have been kind of bullshit. And, you know, since I kind of cheated with that guy, then I won't warp out of here to, you know, use my souls on something. So yeah, I was an idiot and now the scythe plus ten is gone, but... Well, I knew the risks. <laughs> so, yeah. Now I'll probably just die. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna stick to my <laughs> power stancing plan. <laughs> but okay, I'll just make my way to Shulwa before I quit for now. Maybe find a little something from there. I mean, yeah, of course, ob objectively this was stupid of me to just throw away the good, good weapon I had, but I just really wanted to try it out. <laughs> So here we are. Almost died to the poison there, but for the millionth time, almost doesn't count. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I checked that there were no really weirdly hidden items anywhere here, so let's just proceed through the door. Shulova, Sanctum City. I suppose, technically the last large collection of areas that I'll encounter in the playthrough. I should have kept my sight for some more dragon slaying later on, but Ah, if I wouldn't have found any other weapon during my, you know, passing through this area, then I would have been really, really surprised, so... Ah, uh, losing the scythe isn't all that serious, I feel. So... Oh, an item. Let's pick that up. Was gonna start just walking... Walking forward. Old growth bombs, uh, this will be a shortcut later, I think. 
I suppose I wouldn't have to say this at this point, but I'll say it once again that I do not remember the DLC areas all that well, so I might miss some obvious items. Alright, I can raise and lower these platforms by hitting these things, I believe. But for now, it's just to run around wildly. Sanctum Soldier Gauntlet. Well, that was a surprisingly fitting place for it. I think it's uh, just a an uh, enemy drop normally, though I could be mistaken. Hmm, I guess I'm forced to play around with these if I want to progress. Uh, hmm. Oh, that one moved. Okay. This is some gripping, gripping commentary I'm doing here, I know, but I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Though I'm not sure how that's different from any other situation in this playthrough. Ha, huh, there would be another trigger down there. Hmm, maybe I can fall down from that one, one place. Or maybe I should have fallen down with the pit in the first place. I'm not sure. Oh, fuck. I... <laughs> Oh, never mind. Thought I made it, but I didn't make it. So, just running back there, quick. There we go. So now, I guess I'll just loot all the items I see. Three Twinkling Titanites, and a fallen enemy. Wait a minute, that wasn't death, apparently. Let's go check it out. Uh, okay, I might be trapped. Varangian leggings plus seven, okay. Yeah, I guess I could get out if I had a bow or something. Or maybe not. Well, fuck, I guess I'm dead. And I'll just put those leggings on once I respawn. And of course the Sanctum Soldier Gauntlet too. Good thing I noticed it now and not after the episode, as usual. In meaning this way. Pharos Lockstone. That I welcome. Uh, I think this might make a shortcut for me through here, perhaps? Yep, pretty sure it does. Let's believe in that. Believe in me who believes in that. Oh fuck, that was not meant to happen. I do want that item before I quit. And a shortcut here is... Okay, also a... Uh, I wouldn't say this. it's a secret area, but a new, newly accessed area. Soul of a Nameless Soldier, what a prize. But I'll just move forward for as long as I can. Five life gems. Poison. Mannequin Saber, okay. And I think I saw something somewhere. This one there, I mean. Uh, hmm. Oh wait, the poison killed me. I'm an idiot. An item. <laughs> I shall have it. <clears throat> That's a hole.
Large sword of a brave warrior. And never have too much consumable souls. And okay, let's check this place out. I think I saw one of these. Yep. No idea what it does. Maybe it makes a bridge here, I guess. Ha, ah, okay. I guess it does that then, and I suppose this makes a bridge there. Yep. Whoop, almost dying. I do not need to continue that sentence. Uh, item somewhere perhaps? Oh shit, these break my equipment. I forgot. I thought they were just disgusting. But they are also mean. Golden Falcon Shield. And... Ah, okay, yeah, I have to jump. Jump back from there, I guess. Because these looks kinda, yeah, dead endy. Well, not dead yet, so might as well press on. I think there's a bonfire kinda close, but... If I won't find it, then I guess I'll find it later. Such deep wisdom there. Uh, okay, yeah, I uh, guess it was that guy there who shot me. Was gonna say that, I have no idea where that arrow came from. <laughs> but okay, I probably shouldn't have come here since I knew I only had, a, well, not very long to actually explore here. But I really, really wanted to access the place and I, you know, knew that I would just put it off again and again if I didn't do it now. So... Yeah, I guess I gotta quit here for for this time, but holy fuck, ancient dragon dead, uh, humanite dead, excellent fucking boss progress, at least in my opinion, and yeah, I at least made it to Shulva and there's a shit ton of areas and items for me to find here, so hopefully I'll end up finding some of the keys I need to access the optional bosses of the DLCs, and more of the giant souls before I take on Vendrick. Because I'm not gonna fight the guy with doing, doing under 100 damage per hit. But hey, I guess these situations will develop in some way in some time. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys sometime. Bye!